they got to figure out a way not to give kids fucking four hours of homework a day. Because that was my problem. Like, listen, if you're in school, yeah, you should be fucking learning, doing your thing. This Once you're out of it, like, if I have a job, like, the reason I hate fucking acting is, like, you go and you act for 14, 16 hours, whatever. And then mm-hmm. they're like, all right, now you can go home. We'll see you tomorrow. And you think, like, oh, I can go home and fucking chill and go to sleep and whatever. You're like, no, I got to learn for four hours. I got to learn these fucking lines for yeah. tomorrow. And that's the shit that I hate. So, so, so but you got to think so. But you was going to school as a kid was totally different from every normal other kid, right? Like you well, no, to... because I Sopranos didn't really get out there till I was like fourteen years oh, old. Okay. So like up until fourteen, it was normal, and then like that, everything fucking switched. And then by the time when you're fourteen, that's when you really want the real school to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just I would show up at lunch and I would like fucking chill, smoke, and then I'd go back into school and they were like, you're so disruptive. Yeah, like, you're cool. Yeah, yeah, you fucking up the air. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So they were like, you just got, and then a lot of time I'd be working or like, you know, I'd work until two in the morning sometimes and then like, you know, go home and then at seven o'clock I'd be like, oh, you got to wake up for school. I'd be like, nah, I'm not going. So I, I pretty much stopped going to school like uh, eighth grade oh, probably. Shit. But it was like the year before that. It was like I was just a regular kid yeah. who was trying to fucking. And know. that's and I feel like that's like eighth grade that's when the, the girls and shit really. That's when it really yeah. started to start. So I don't know. I guess they probably saved you, huh? Well, but the the crazy thing was is by the time I was sixteen, like I was getting into New York City nightclubs and yeah, the, that's gr- the level they of made you grow women up with- that came out of fucking nowhere was insane. And like, you know, even if it was one girl a week who was like gorgeous who was willing to hook up with me it was like yo this is crazy like i was just in school two years ago where like no girls wanted to hook up with me and i was fat i lost a bunch of weight was on tv and then i started going to nightclubs and it all it was like a fucking Overnight. train Overnight. Like, it was just like a train that was out of control and it was it was it got it got crazy that's man. a complete mind fuck too as a kid that so you had to mature quick yeah i mean i was always mature in in certain ways but in that way with like <clears throat> girls and that shit because i was fat and like i don't I think see, no one can handle that though i don't care if you was fucking the fucking tarzan kid <laughs> you well you what know saying? what's like, crazy is like when you're in la it's different because everybody kisses your ass when you're a, like a kid star and this shit we're like in new york, new york yeah, I know, people are like get the me. fuck out of my way like you know what i mean like people don't like there are people when you're in certain scenarios where like they're like, oh my god, yeah, I love the show. But also, people are like, yeah, I don't give a fuck who you like. People in my neighborhood are like, I don't no, give no, a no. fuck who you are. That's like, how Detroit kind of is too. But New York, one thing I will say is like, if you ain't shit in New York, you it, ain't, it is what it is. You ain't. Shit. But once you cracking, it's like a whole nother world just opens up. Like, oh my god, like yeah, man, I really love New York, man. It's, I went. So my my uh, the girl who played my sister on Sopranos, Jamie. It was her birthday at like the best nightclub in New York City. And I go to her birthday, and the guy said to me, hey, anytime you want to come back, just let me know. And I was like, oh, shit, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Tap like, in. And I, I, I brought, like, six of my boys who were, like, you know, a fucking 16, 17 years old, all smoking weed, just the word, like, insane. And I, I remember walking up to the door the next night, and he, like, looked at me and looked at them, and he was like, yeah, yeah, go in. Like, let all fucking six, seven of us in. He looked at me, he goes, don't ever do this again. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So then I just started going out with one of my boys yeah, or yeah. whatever. Like you go, like, yeah, because I, um, Oof. it used to be like that kind of with me when I was young. I wouldn't say, no, I was probably about 16, 17. And my, um, I used to hang out with like, you know, everybody was older than me, like drug dealing shit type shit. And they'd go to nightclubs and shit, and, you know, they'll be able to get me in and shit, like pay Pay like a hundred dollars to get me in type shit. And I was fucking, I look like a fucking baby. And I would yeah. always get kicked out the club because I always try to buy a drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and every time I would try to buy a drink, the bartenders would notice me. That it'd just be this whole commotion. And it is like you would think after the first time that that happened, I would fucking, you know, wouldn't do that anymore. But no, every time they took me to the club, I would try to buy a drink and get kicked out. Cause I didn't feel like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like, I don't know. I just felt lame just being there. I don't I wanted yeah. to feel grown. Like, I don't know, feel like an adult. Like everybody drinking. You have like to 21 drink. up clubs and shit like yeah but the thing is about um detroit the fucked up part is like we ain't had to go we had like a lot of after hour spots yeah that yeah. was like crazy it'd be like motorcycle gang lock-ins type shits like and it was just so you ain't really have to go like being a teenager if all you had is fucking ten dollars twenty dollars to get in you can go somewhere every weekend and see the craziest shit you've ever seen in your life yeah.